Hey, welcome. This is my first tutorial on motion graphics in After Effects and Premiere. Uh, this first tutorial will take you through using dynamic link between After Effects and Premiere so that you don't have to export and bring shit back in again, all that stuff. Um, sometimes the link is a bit buggy. I know that CS5 users will find that it is completely useless. Um, that's why I would suggest that you get uh, a CS6 a copy of your software so you need uh, Adobe After Effects and Adobe Premiere CS6 for this tutorial most of you guys would have it um, I'm tagging it in the video so this should be relevant to what you're doing um, the first thing that I'm going to do today I will take you through uh, how to get going in Premiere first and then we could um, go over to After Effects in a very unique way so first things first open your Premiere now the thing it'll do it is it'll give give you this little screen that you start up with. I'm just going to go new project, okay? Um, I'm using uh, my project folder on my desktop. Uh, for example, this one is the uh, one in documents. I'll go to Adobe. Uh, I've got two here. The first one is for Edition. The second one's for Premiere. I will use Premiere Pro in there. Just select folder. Just everything that you're going to do is going to get saved there. So you just do it on your on your own little place that you have ready. I'm um, calling this test uh, dynamic link. I like to use underscores instead of spaces because it's easier to read for me. But whatever works for you, it's cool. Uh, click on OK. All right. Now the first thing it's going to do is ask me to make a new sequence. I don't want to make a new sequence right now. Uh, I'll go cancel. Okay. And then it'll just go straight on to uh, the normal, there we go, uh, what you would see uh, when you log in for the first time or open for the first time. Now something to note that uh, up here in window, the drop down menu, uh, you will have access to all the little windows. For example here is effects, it will give you effects right away. Uh, here is, um, let's go title, stool, title tools, it just it will give you a separate window. So when you have two screens, it's nice to actually just have these all open uh, for quick access. Um, this is the first uh, way that you can make titles in um, uh, Adobe Premiere. And uh, we're not going to be doing this. We're not going to touch this in this tutorial, but only focusing on After Effects titles. Okay, let's get going. Let's open our project uh, window right here. You'll see that in the um, top window, um, drop down menu for window you'll have something called workspaces uh, this is a pre predefined kind of setting um, I think a lot of you know what this is about I'm working in the editing uh, setting it'll give me this so if I change uh, from one to the other you'll see how it's different this is for audio and this is for editing that's what we're working in um, so I'm gonna go to project uh, it's the window that I have all the media available that I would drag into my projects um, the first thing I'm going to do is go new item um, and just like in the beginning we can create a new sequence it will give me this thing now um, what you'll notice is that it does not give standardized settings for YouTube uh, DVDs all that stuff it actually rather gives you camera feed settings so you would for example in uh, in uh, the AVC HD case you would find that there is something called the 1080p setting but they would have the anamorphic setting and they would have a normal setting so no, what is the most user friendly in our case is to have an AVC 1080p 25 frames per second non-anamorphic now this is important because there's something that will make your screen seem smaller and seem different because the video when it gets played it actually gets stretched to 16 by 9 but it's a 4 by 3 pane on which it's recorded but the lens would bend things so that it fits onto that plane in an HD way when you stretch it it becomes right again that's not the right way to work the right way to work in is square pixels it's like what you see is what you get this is how you get it this is the most easiest used uh, sequence setting that you can find so I'm just opening this up sequence 2 there we go we got this guy um, what I do now is I will just go and quickly grab uh, a piece of music um, maybe just from my hard drive 
just music and uh, anything really. It just it doesn't matter. I just want some some sound. So we're gonna go Statesboro Blues. Drag drag that in. Um, then once you once you've created your sequence, you'll see that it popped up in your timeliner. Um, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take my music and just drag it into my timeline like this, uh, into the audio one. Uh, track. I'll turn it down so I can see a bit of the uh, wavelength, um, <coughs> the waveform. Sorry, and you'll see that when you hit space or press play, it'll play. Right. So what we need to do right now is we're gonna add some text to this. We're gonna add some titles to this, uh, but we're not gonna do it through the Adobe Premiere way of doing it. We're gonna do it through the d dynamic link into After Effects. So the first thing you do, just for a placeholder, you go new item, then you go um, either black video or bars and tone. Anyone is fine. Um, now it's more important to note when doing what I'm going to do now, you can do it with a video clip as well. All right. So this would be a theoretical video clip in our timeline. We can just drag this the same way we drag the song back into our timeliner, and you can actually because this is like a still image, it'll be pink videos are normally blue uh, but you can actually manually drag this open and close to match your uh, timeline uh, time so you'll see that I got like three minutes or something on my timeline um, that's the end of my sequence now what this following move is is quite tricky because sometimes on if your shit isn't installed right it's not gonna work it's gonna like just do nothing so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna right click on a clip in my timeline, right click and go here in this time in this pop-up menu it says here replace with After Effects composition. Now for this to happen right, After Effects needs to be open, okay? And it's good to do this. So we're going over to After Effects and we go File, Save As, right? Save as we can save as again. Control Shift S is works as well. Save as and then I'll just do this on the desktop. I'll go test test text something like that all right um just to have it so it's good to save this before you do the following move now the following move is to head on over to after effects from premiere so right click on your clip replace with after effects composition and this is what happens okay now we actually now Premiere has through the dynamic link which is behind everything it's something in the background you don't see the interface um, it uh, has sent a black video in a composition through that pipeline so we got black video right here you won't see anything happening but what you will do no what, what you would see now is go if you go get some text put it in here okay all right let's make that white okay and then go scale it up a little bit okay now you go file save okay now you go over to premiere and you'll see that it's there it's even editable so if we cut our, get our cut tool out you can cut this up and you can actually move it around and you will have a basic video clip that you are busy working with in After Effects. So whatever you do in this timeline right now, if you go for example cut Shazam, just kill Shazam halfway through the comp, you'll see that in, uh, let's just repair this quickly, in this comp that's exactly what's happening. It's dying, it's gone. So all your animation will come through this way. Okay, so let's actually get started on something now that you got that something a little bit more interesting, a little bit of animation. Um, this uh, text right here, I'm going to start playing with it. So maybe maybe we put some effects on it. Um, distortion is always cool. CC bend it. Okay. So here we have the bend. Alright. Let me see here. Where's the rest of this text? There we go. So if we grab CC Bandit's tools right here and we go down. This is actually a horrible effect, but uh maybe try another one. There we go. Okay, so 
this is something cool alright so if we go to our effect over here CC Bender and we click on the stopwatch for amount click on that and you'll have a timeline added to the the timeline in After Effects now click on the layer and press U to bring up this added timeline this new timeline for uh, this effect that you've added and uh, you will see that it has something that you can drag back and forth right here as well as at the top here but you don't you're not going to work on the top right now now this is something called um, expressions uh, what I will do is hold in alt I'm holding it in and now I click on the stopwatch again right and watch how it turns red you see that means that it's that is gone it's gone from being a key driven effect to a expression driven effect now this is a little expression that I like to use I'm just gonna go and grab a, uh, a little note and I'll type this in for you it is type okay uh, loop out so it's loop out uh, capital letter O loop out type equals and then uh, hockey's oh shit what do you call them uh, cycle right so that's that's the expression we're going to be using so you just copy that control C okay close these guys and now you just go into this field right at the bottom of your um, timeline and you go control V paste that in then you'll see here loop out type equals cycle now you'll notice that it won't do anything and this is because there's only one keyframe that has been set if you set two keyframes okay it will do this so let's go 31 on the first one enter and then minus 31 enter now what happens right check this out so I'm just gonna play this and you'll see that it goes okay wait that is so slow go like this okay then uh, let's just zoom in and you'll see that it's like one second so two seconds so this is a two second animation and it's looping it very simple okay I don't know why it's there we go mm. Now this is stupid, it's supposed to go back and then forth. Let's try this. Three keyframes. Paste. Halfway through. Okay. Now that we've automated something, you could automate this with any effect. So let's just put a random ass effect on this thing. I'll show you how you do it again. Liquify. We go liquify, right? then we find something to do it to animate distortion mesh in this case click on it right go to the layer press U press U again alt click on the animated keyframe because it has keyframes now uh, the animated variable it has keyframes now Then go alt click on it and you'll have a little field to type in all kinds of crazy ass things that you can figure out you can even go like plus one or plus plus to increment it it's very diverse it's a little bit of programming but if you know HTML you would understand what's going on here right now so um, that's one way of doing it uh, animating things now let's just go back into our Premiere and we can see how I know it's cool it's dancing with it so that was the Adobe Bridge, uh, the Adobe Dynamic Bridge, and um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it wasn't too long. Thanks for watching.